Hey guys, how are you? Oh my gosh, I have not been here in forever for many a reasons. I've been crazy sick for like three weeks now. Like, I was getting sick on Halloween and then I went to the state fair like the day after, so that didn't help. And so when I tried making videos, I was just not satisfied at all with how they came out and I couldn't make videos for like two weeks because I could not stop coughing like every other sentence and that would just be so annoying and homework like my exams are coming up in school and I'm not doing too well in English and math and so it's just like really killer right now reading Huck Finn and I'm trying to enjoy it I'm trying I'm trying I'm trying but yeah even though um exams are coming up and so there's gonna be a lot more like pressure on me for school work and more homework and all that that I need to catch up and do and make sure I have turned in in time I really want to make more videos now more than ever because December and yes, we finally have nice weather. Who doesn't want to spread the Christmas joy? Or any other holiday you celebrate? By the way guys, like my new background? Got the boyfriend, Legend of Zelda, Gunter the Penguin, Little Mix, Harry Potter, and... Bands from Warp Tour 2011. Oh, look at my wall of wonders and and my donut pillow I made and it's coming apart, so we have to make a new donut pillow. So before I go, here are some November favorites of mine to make up for probably over a month's worth of no videos. First, I'll start off with some media stuff that I've loved, and the first one is Secret Over the Garden Wall. It is such a beautiful cartoon. Like, the artwork is so amazing. The characters' voices, like, the music, everything just has, like, this old classic feel to it. And, like, a lot of cartoons I used to watch when I was little, I used to watch, like, Betty Boop, Popeye, Gumby, Beanie and Cecil, all these, like, old style cartoons and it's so it just like touched my heart. It was like a five night special. It was a mini series which is very uncommon in cartoons and so I really hope that like the artists do more stuff. Maybe they could bring it back. I really hope you guys will like it because I love it so much and I'll leave a link in the description to like um, a video of all the songs in the series. I just love it so much. I love all like the old fashioned songs. A second favorite of mine has been Red Band Society. I finally have caught up with all the episodes and so I'm so ready for this Wednesday. Oh my gosh, I'm like flipping out. I love, I love, love, love the show. Like it makes me want to not do anything but watch it like that's all I need in life. I love this show so much and apparently Fox is thinking about canceling it so no that can't happen so if you guys love this show as much as I do there's a petition that you can sign online. I'll leave a link in the description below for that also. My last media November favorite is You Now. You Now is like YouTube. You Now. But you are streaming your videos live and people can comment and you can read the comments as you're in the video. Thus, you now. You are here now. And I love it so much. It's like so fun to watch other people and comment and like hear them read your comment and react like, you know. Now on to actual stuff. So about a couple weeks ago, I got my first ba -da -ba -ba -bum. ukulele and I love it so much. It's like Oh, so beautiful. Look at this. This beauty. Once I got it, I stopped playing my guitar for a couple of weeks, and I hadn't been playing it for a few weeks earlier as regularly as I usually do, or as much as I've been playing the ukulele. And so, after getting finally getting used to such a small neck and all this madness, I tried playing my guitar again, and I was just like, whoa, whoa. This thing is huge, and I could like barely hold it. <laughs> and so, in some ways, it was kind of hard to learn like new chords. Like, this is G on this thing, but this this finger pattern is a D on the guitar, and like I thought that was the wackiest thing. And I really want to like do some covers on it because it is so fun to play. It's so pretty, and it, it's like so beautiful, and I just love the sound of it. But you know still sick here. I probably sound really like nasally right now or not. I don't know. Hashtag Dayquil. Fail. Another 
thing I got before I got the ukulele is something so beautiful. It brings me to tears. It is ah, a Nirvana t-shirt with long sleeves and this is probably not as amazing as I made it sound. It is pretty crazy to me because I usually don't buy band t-shirts even though I love so many bands just because they're so freaking expensive like like plus 20 bucks usually for like a t-shirt but this is like this was only 14 bucks at Target and it has long sleeves bonus but I got it in like an extra large because the sleeves are such an awkward fit like this is extra large and it like comes halfway to my like half like past this joint of the elbows. Oh, and when I was at the fair, I got this amazing epic model bear necklace. Oh my gosh, from Danganronpa. Do any of you guys watch Danganronpa? Tell me you've watched it. It is one of the most epic animes I have ever seen, but it's also really sad and scary and Ah, crazy, but I guess that's like why I love it so much because like deep down inside I'm evil and dark and mysterious. And I guess the last things are these super cute little charms that I got the other day when I was at the market shopping for some yummy food stuff, but I really wanted to get some charms because I think they're so cute and so I was like, you know what, I'm going to get them woot woot are these cute little um, cat charms that I already have one on this blue little mini thing purse. It's so cute. It's like waving. It's like, hi. Like a little bell. Mew. Mew, mew, mew. So cute. And this is a smaller one I got. And, oh, let's try to show yourself. It's so cute. It's waving too. It's got a little bell. And... Bell. And the lady said that it would be good luck, but I got them last night, and today I was having the worst day ever. Like, so many crazy things. But it was more like the worst morning ever. And my mom said that if you say that, then you'll actually have a bad day. And so I was like, you know what, you're right, I just gotta have a good day in my mind. And you know, like, by the time lunch came around, I was having a good day, so maybe it was just the lack of food or the lack of freeness that is lunch. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video and let me know if you liked any things that I like or if you have any things that you would want to tell me that you've been loving lately. Tell me in dim comments below. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye!